Mass adoption of electric vehicles is going to cause a significant strain on our current infrastructure. Buying an electric car could double the amount of electricity that you currently consume. The Energy Information Administration estimates that you use about 10,000 kilowatt hours per household in the US. The average household has two vehicles and the average car drives 14,000 miles per year. So if you were to take this hypothetical situation, two vehicles are traded in for electric vehicles and you're no longer filling up your tank at the fuel pump, charging two electric vehicles driving 14,000 thousand miles per year, you're going to use an additional 10,000 kilowatt hours on an annual basis. The seemingly obvious solution for this would be solar panels, but it actually makes the problem work. You have a solar panel system produces a massive amount of electricity during the middle of the day, throw in electric vehicles to this, and you say someone's commuting to work, coming home, plugging in their electric vehicle when your solar panel system's not producing electricity. So not only are you ex exporting a ton of power, but then you're also consuming a ton of power, the problem is going to become the solution. Because not only can electric vehicles use power from the grid, but they can potentially send power back to the home or back to the grid. This term is referred to as vehicle to home or vehicle to grid. There's a lot of red tape right now working this out. When it comes down to the warranty of the manufacturer's battery, local laws with electricity generation or even rules with the power company. I wanted to create this video to introduce some new ideas, give you an idea of what this will look like moving forward into the future with the integration of electric vehicles, solar panels, batteries, and the grid. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and check out some additional resources in the description below.